Hi everyone, this is Brian Gundy from For Goodness Snakes, and uh, it's um, March 28th, and we have our first clutch of the year. This is a uh, Mojave that was bred to uh, my bumblebee. So we have, it uh, looks like five eggs here, which is what I had anticipated uh, through palpation. And um, so with this particular clutch, we could get normals, we could get spiders, uh, we could get uh, Mojave spiders, we could get pastaves, and the hope is that we will get a um, basically a pastave bee, and uh, that would be a real big uh, thrill for me. This is always exciting for me. You know, I I can't tell you how many clutches I've had through the years, um, but this really marks um, sort of a a new beginning for each year, and this is the first of um, hopefully very many many clutches that I'll be getting this year and um, I'll be uh, keeping you guys informed on the clutches as they happen and um, and then later on the hatch dates so you can see what um, what uh, what I'm getting when I'm getting it so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and try to gently remove this female and keep her eggs in uh, orientation so that we don't lose that and uh, put the eggs in the ink and the um, nest box and then that nest box in the incubator. The incubator is set at 89 degrees and um, we're going to go. We'll see what happens here. Uh, obviously you want to be very careful when you're dealing with a female that's just dropped a clutch because she's not the happiest thing around. And we just want to take her off of these eggs. And I'm going to, now this one was outside of the clutch, so I'm going to take this one first. And put it in here, making sure orientation is right. Now a lot of people think that the egg that is left outside of the clutch is usually uh, an egg that will not hatch. So we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and mark that egg and uh, we'll come back to that another time and hopefully I don't get bit here looks good now what I'm going to do with this female after I get these eggs out of here is I'm going to wash her off. Now I know a lot of people don't do that. I know that Dan and Colette Sullivan do and that's who I've learned uh, a lot of my um, husbandry, husbandry from. People like them. And uh, they wash off that female. What hopefully will happen by doing that is uh, she'll have that scent of the eggs removed from her. And as you guys notice um, we have the holes at each end of this nest box and by washing the female off rinsing her, drying her off, putting her back into I actually put her into a different tub uh, the hope is that she will go back on food uh, a little quicker than if we didn't wash her off so anyway here's the uh, clutch of eggs going into the incubator first clutch of the year hopefully we'll get some really nice babies again this is Brian Gundy you guys Take care. Good luck with your season.